It's a story we've been tracking for years. Local researchers trying to unlock the secrets of coral off the coast of Jamestown's Ford Weatherill. And new tonight, TJ Del Santo is speaking with them about what they found. He joins us now with the follow up. A couple of years ago, I tagged along with local researchers as they gathered coral to see how plastics impacted the coral. Their findings shocked even them. Along the jagged coastline around Fort Wetherill in Jamestown, researchers gather coral to study the impacts of plastics in the ocean. Coral reef ecosystems support 25% of the ocean's biodiversity, so it's important that coral stays healthy. We can find plastics in local coral colonies, uh, and they were at numbers that were much higher than we expected. Here at Roger Williams University, researchers are studying various types of microorganisms in their state-of-the-art marine lab, including local northern star coral. To study how small pieces of plastics impact the coral, students feed them plastic blue microbeads, similar to what were once used in personal care products. The coral easily ingests the beads. When we give them choice between plastics and natural food that is the same size and same shape, overwhelmingly they choose the plastic. The concern is that small organisms eat the plastic and that goes up through the food chain to plankton, other fish, and eventually to humans. It's not just the plastics that are a concern, it's bacteria. One of the findings that concerned us the most from this work was that we were able to show that bacteria that are on the surface of plastics indeed ride in on those plastics when they're accidentally ingested by the corals. Coral around the globe are threatened by rising water temperatures and plastics are making the problem worse. One of the best ways to reduce plastic pollution is to stop using single-use plastics like straws and plastic cups and to do use reusable bags and mugs. I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.